How to create a sum flow field in Business Central using the simple object designer. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, a flow field is a field that is not a field in the database, but it's a calculated field on screen. A flow field can sum a lot of records and show the results. Um, example, examples of this could be the, the balance or the net uh, change in the chart of account. It could be the balance due on a, on a customer or the quantity in inventory on an item or the balance on a job task, anything where you need to sum a lot of records. Um, let me show you how you create one of those with the Simple Object Designer. Here is a new, completely fresh app. Um, and let's say that you want to show how many of an item is in is on purchase orders uh, while you're creating a sales order. Uh, so we want on a sales order. Uh, let's open a sales order here. We want on. Uh, let's, go, let's go actually to a sales order. We want a column um, right next where we enter quantity, so we can see how many do we have incoming on purchase orders. Um, and I'll go back to the simple object designer and I'll create a new field. Hit new and I will find the, um, the table called sales line, which is the one that is on a sales order. And I'll create a new field called QTY on PO. That's a good name. And I'll tell that this field should be a flow field. And uh, let's do quantity on purge orders. How about that? That looks pretty nice. And I will put it on a page. And the page I want to put on is it's called the sub form. Uh, so when you have a sales order, the, you have the sales order page, and then you have a sub form with the lines. So I will put that here. And I would want it right, um, right before quantity. So let's see if we can find the quantity. It's right there. So add before quantity. Okay, so now we created a field, but I'm missing a vital thing. I'm actually missing the, how, how should this calculate? So I can do that by going into field settings. And because I selected a flow field, we can see that I have now two new sections here. Uh, the first one is the flow field, and the next one is the filter that we use to describe what records to actually calculate. Uh, in this case, I want to sum. So there are different types of flow fields. Um, uh, there will be videos, there are videos on, on, on some of the other types, uh, but in this case, we want to sum uh, purchase lines. So let's find purchase line. That's the one. And um, the field that we want to sum is uh, a quantity on that. Uh, you could take the quantity field, but I think I will actually go with quantity base to avoid getting into issues with uh, with unit of measures and so on. So let me grab that. So now I have told what it is that I want to okay, sum all the, the purchase lines we have. But right now this will just sum everything uh, across all items, across all purchase documents, including invoices and quotes and so on. So we need to, we need to tell the flow field that it should only use specific records. Um, so we do that here in the flow field filters. And the first one I said, okay, let's only do this for a specific document type, in this case, purchase orders. So now on this field saying, I need to specify purchase orders. So I can, I can define the filter in three different ways. I can link the filter to a field from where I, I'm coming from, in this case, sales line. I could specify a constant, 
or I can specify a filter just like you type a filter. In this case, I know it has to be sales order, so I will select this as a constant. And here I can do a, a lookup and say, okay, it has to be order. Um, so now we know that I'm only gonna look at item uh, at purchase lines on uh, on purchase orders. But I there might be other lines. There might be lines for different items or resources or GL accounts or whatever it is. So let's tell the type of line, and that's also a constant that it should be item lines. So now we have narrowed it down to only lines on, on purchase orders, and now we're narrowing that down to only item lines. So the last thing we need to do is to link this to an item. Um, and uh, let's find that. So that will be the number field. And in this case, this should be field. And actually, let me just quickly uh remove myself just a bit <laughs> so you can see that now i have selected field so here i can select fields from the sales line where i am and say okay this has to match the number field on the sales line where i have entered the item number and then let me just put myself back in the corner otherwise this be strange at some point. Um, so with this, I have to find the field, I have to find the filters on it, and uh, I have even placed a field on the page. So the only thing that is left is to publish this to my system. So I hit yes. And what is happening now is that the simple object designer is now writing the code. So it's writing the code and, and making sure that all the parameters we have selected becomes code. Then after it's done writing the code, it will compile that into an app file. And in this case, I answered yes, so it will actually upload the extension to the environment I am, I am in. And at the same time, it also gave me a download. So I, know, I now have a downloaded app file that I can, if I'm doing this in a sandbox as I am doing, I can take the downloaded app file and upload to my production environment. I click OK because this is progress and we can see that it's already going. It has been going while I was talking, so for 40 something seconds. So right now we're waiting for Microsoft to deploy this app to, uh, to the system. Um, and it typically takes, depending on the, the time of day and how big your extension is, it takes a minute and 20. Uh, can be faster, it can be slower. Um, you can actually go away from the screen if you want to. Uh, it still happens. This is just to give you a give you a uh, a progress report on on how it's going. And if there is something ha happening, you'll also get whatever error message there is. And if it's if it's an error that the symbol object is trying to recognize, saying, "Hmm, I know what causes this error." Let me explain to you what you need to do. Like it can be a conflict or perhaps you have deleted or moved or stuff like that, that would operation that would require specific settings to be set. Anyway, we are done, deployment completed. I click okay. So now let's go back into the sales order we were on at the beginning of the video. I scroll down to the fields out to the lines and we can see now we have quantity on purchase orders just before the quantity and and here, here's the thing we already got a number because this is just calculated on the fly it's it's very different from from the other feature of the symbol object design with this field transfers where value is traveling while you do operations in this case we're just calculating it as we go i hit uh, i can click it and i can see the lines that make up those two. Uh, so the field is, is supporting full navigation and uh, it's ready to go. That is how you create a, uh, a flow field in Business Central. One thing that 
I, one comment, which are basically two comments, is that depending on what you decide to calculate on, it might be backed by indexes in the database and be super fast, or it might not. Uh, if you get into the it might not be category, then there can potentially be a, a, a performance uh, implication by creating a, a flow field. Um, and typically, you do not want to add flow fields to list pages because then for each line, it's calculated. Uh, so it's way better as now we actually add it to a list, but we we did not add it to a list uh, with potentially thousands and thousands of records. Um, so be considerable uh, uh, when you're adding, if you want to add something to a the custom list or the item list and so on, because it does require computing resources to actually calculate it and it does take time. So you can make the system slower by creating a, a flow field that is not supported by the database in a good way, and therefore it will take time to calculate. Uh, if you want to know more about the, uh, the Simple Object Designer, follow the link below, and thanks for watching.